Hey guys, it's Courtney. Welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today so far. For one, I hope I don't have lipstick on my teeth, but two, I am filming a makeup inventory and collection video today. I know many of you have asked me to do a makeup collection and vanity tour, but I just don't feel comfortable showing you like my vanity because right now at school, I hate my setup. I just have so much crap in my room that my desk is full of my beauty stuff and some school stuff and it just doesn't look very nice so I don't really like it and then my one at home is just like eh, I don't really love it I don't really hate it so I just wanted to do the makeup inventory and then what I'm gonna do is state what products I have in a certain category how many I have in my goals and then I'm going to show pictures of them right after I say it so I hope that's okay with you guys I may do a vanity tour in the future but it'll probably be at my house not my apartment at school just because I have more room there but I'm not really sure so I have my notes right here and I'm just gonna get started first I'm gonna start off with the face category and first is foundations previously I had one but currently I have two I have the Maybelline Femi foundation the dewy and smooth one and I actually purchased that yesterday I think and I haven't showed it in a haul because I actually posted a haul today and I just didn't get it until yesterday so anyway I also have the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Foundation, and my goal would be to have one to two foundations. I'm okay with two, and I'm, of course I'm okay with the ones I have right now because, for one, I like the finish of them, and also I have two different shades. The Neutrogena one is my summer shade, and then the Maybelline one is my current shade, I guess. And if you're wondering what's on my face, I am wearing a sample of the Born This Way Foundation from Too Faced in the shade Vanilla, and it was actually way too dark for me, but... I mixed the Maybelline in it and it's really nice and I really like it. I have a nice glow going on. So like I said, I'm going to get off my ramble. I want to have one to two foundations. Two is okay if I have different shades, but I like one or two. doesn't matter to me. Next is concealers. I have two concealers currently and I previously had two, but I've used up about two Maybelline Femi concealers since then and I just purchased my third the other day. So I have one Maybelline Femi concealer in Fair and I also have a MAC Studio Finish concealer and my goal is to have two concealers so I can have one for under my eyes or on my face and then one specifically for my face. Next is powders. I have two powders currently. Previously I had one and I actually had three about a month ago because my friend Nisi sent me one powder and then Mary, my other friend, sent me a Bare Minerals Mineral Veil but that just oxidized on me so I decluttered that. I currently have the e.l.f. under eye setting powder and a Rimmel Stay Matte face powder so I have two different types of powders but my goal is to only have one powder because I feel like I could use my setting powder for my face under my eyes as well. Next is blushes. Previously I had two, currently I have six and actually I've only purchased one blush myself. The rest were sent to me from friends and I'm very very thankful and I love the colors I have. Some of my numbers have gone up in the past few months due to swaps and then some of my awesome friends from YouTube sent some products to me to try out so that's why some of my numbers have increased significantly so just thought I'd let you know so the blushes that I have are MAC Warm Soul Mineralized Blush Lancome Shimmer Pink Pool Blush and that's like a sample blush I think the Catrice Illuminating Blush in I Am Nuts About You Milani Dulce Pink Baked Blush Coralista from Benefit their boxed blush and a P2 Rosy Pouch Ultra Matte Eyeshadow and Primer thing. And it's a baked formula, but it's actually an eyeshadow, but I use it as, as a blush because it's kind of like a terracotta color. So my goal would be to only have about three blushes and maybe three different shades. For cream highlighters, I currently have five and I have the Becca Liquid Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone and that is a like travel size one and then Nisi gifted me the Becca Trio of the Liquid Shimmering Skin Perfectors. There's Opal, Champagne Gold, and Pearl and I also have an Essence Cream to Powder Highlighter in Look on the Bright Side. So my goal for cream highlighters is to have five and I'm sure in 2015 I can reach my goal.
For powder highlighters, I currently don't have any, but I only put this in here because I'm considering purchasing one in the future. I'm just not sure yet though. So my goal for powder highlighters, I almost say cream highlighters, is just to have one of them. For face primers, I have three, and previously I had three. I actually used up all of those three that I had, and then I received two from Mary in a swap, and then I received one from Nisi, so I still have three primers. I have the Smashbox Photo Finish Deluxe Size Sample Primer, and then I have Maybelline Baby Skin Primer, and then the L'Oreal True Match Magic Lumi Primer, and I love that primer. So my goal is to only have one primer, primer. And lastly for the face category is setting sprays. I have gone through multiples of the NYX Do We Finish setting spray and I still have it. So I currently have one setting spray but I wouldn't mind having one to two. The two would be on backup. So one that I'm currently using and then one for a backup. So I think that's perfectly fine. Now onto eye products. For single shadows, I currently have five of them. Previously I had seven. I believe I might have decluttered two of them. I can't remember or passed them on, something like that. And my goal is to only have three single eyeshadows because I do prefer palettes, but some of those shadows, like a matte cream color, I go through fairly fast, not super fast. And I would like to have a single of one of those and maybe like another matte shade or two. So I currently have MAC Omega Eyeshadow, MAC Shimmer Moss Eyeshadow, L'Oreal Ice Latte Infallible Eyeshadow, a Bare Minerals Loose Eyeshadow in Fancy, and an Ardency in Manuka Honey Eyeshadow in Heaven. So like I said, I would like to have three single eyeshadows max. For brow products, I have two, and previously I had two, so I didn't use any up or get any in. So I have the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel and the Maybelline Define Eyebrow Pencil in light brown. And I would like to have maybe one to two brow products in the future, who knows, but probably just one. I'm sorry, this is kind of out of of order. I looked at a different page and started talking about my eye products. So now on to pencil eyeliners. I have four currently and I previously had six so I might have accumulated a couple more and used some up. I can't remember. I have the It Cosmetics Black Brown No Tug Eyeliner Deluxe Sample which is a like black brown color. I have the NYX Sunrise Blue Slide On Glide On Eyeliner Pencil, a Makeup Forever Deluxe Size pencil, like a deluxe size sample, and it's like a blue color, and then I have the Too Faced Perfect Eyes eyeliner in black, so I've reached my goal of having multiple colored eyeliners, like not having multiples of the same shade, but I would still like to only have three different colors of eyeliners, and technically I have the Pop Beauty inky purple one, but I'm throwing that into a future giveaway, so like I said, I would like to have three different colored pencil eyeliners. For liquid liners, I currently have two, and previously I had two. I believe I used up two of them, I think, and then I accumulated two. I have the NYC liquid eyeliner in black. That one's my favorite, and then I accidentally took home my sister's Ma Maybelline Master Precise pen liner in black, and she just said I could keep it, so I've been using it. So I have two liquid eyeliners, but my goal is to only have one. For mascaras, I currently have seven. I'm almost out of one, so soon to be six, but previously I had eight. I have two of the full size of the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes mascaras, a Rimmel Lash Accelerator mascara, a Benefit The Real Deluxe Size mascara sample, and a Bare Minerals Lash Domination mascara, and a Cosmetics Hello Lashes Deluxe Size Sample mascara, and a Catrice Glam Doll Waterproof mascara. I'm currently using the Catrice one and then a Tarlex Camera Lashes. My goal for mascaras is to just have two to three, so maybe one or two in use and then one or two on backup depending on which combination I'm using, so that would be fine with me. For eye primers I have four and previously I had five. I currently am working on the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eyeshadow Primer. I have two deluxe samples of the Urban Decay Primer Potions. One is the anti-aging and one is the original. And then I also have a Smashbox 24 hour something eyeshadow primer deluxe sample as well. So my goal is to only have one eyeshadow primer. 
For cream shadows, I have four currently, and previously I had two. I actually used up a Maybelline Color Tattoo in Nude Pink recently, so now I have the Benefit Birthday Suit Cream Eyeshadow, the Be A Bob Shell Submissive Cream Eyeshadow, a Laura Mercier Caviar Stick Sample in Sugar Frost, and then I'm working on a Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in Pink Opal. So, should be down to three soon, but I think for cream shadows, my goal is to only have three of them so I can have a little bit of variety. For large eyeshadow palettes, this is anything that is more than one eyeshadow. So I have significantly increased a little bit because of swaps and, like I said, friend mail and stuff like that. So I have eight eyeshadow palettes currently and I previously had four and my goal is to have two to three. I have the Too Faced Naturalized palette, the MAC Amber Times 9 eyeshadow palette, a Naked palette from Urban Decay, a BH Cosmetics 88 Neutral Color palette, a Smashbox Trio and Filter, an Estee Lauder Quad, an Urban Decay Naked Basics 2 palette, and a Lorac Unzipped Gold eyeshadow palette. And I keep wanting to say Lorac Behind the Scenes eyeshadow primer, but that's not it. So I have a, I would like to have two to three eyeshadow palettes just so I can continuously rotate through them. Now on to the final category, which is lip products. For lipsticks, I have five, and previously I had one, and I think I was sent or given all of these, except for one was like my birthday gift. So currently I have the MAC Syrup Lipstick, which is a luster finish, MAC Faux Lipstick, which is a satin, I believe, and then the ColourPop Lippy Sticks in LBB, which is on my lips right now, NARS Cruella Velvet Matte Lip Pencil from the birthday gift from Sephora, and then an Aster Soft Sensational Lip Color Butter, and I think that's it. My goal for lipsticks is to just have three of them because I feel like that's enough variety of color for me personally. For lip gloss, previously I had three, and currently I have five, and all of these lip glosses were for free. Um, I just keep accumulating them from friends because they're awesome. And I have the Maybelline Baby Lips lip gloss in taupe with me, a Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie lip gloss in Wow Factor, another one of those in Rockstar, and then I have two NYX Butter Glosses, one in Vanilla Cream Pie and one in Eclair. But my goal for lip glosses is probably to only have about two of them. For sick lip balm, currently I have zero, which is a shocker for me, and previously I had three. I believe I used one or two of them up, but then I threw one out because I got sick, and I was like really sick, so I just chucked it, and then I forget what happened to the other one. I probably lost it, so I don't have any stick lip balms right now, but I'm okay with having one. Hot lip balms, I currently have one, and previously I had one as well, so I have the Nivea Lip Butter in Vanilla and Macadamia Kiss, and I'm happy with just having one pot lip balm. For tinted lip balms, I have two of them. Previously, I have one. I have two Maybelline Baby Lips, one in Cherry Me and one in Melon Mania, and I'm happy with both of them, but I would like to only have one tinted lip balm. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing my updated numbers from my makeup inventory and then seeing the pictures from my collection. I'm not bragging in any way saying that my friends sent me products. I am very appreciative and I like using them in my videos and reviewing them for you guys. So let me know if you have any requests for any type of reviews on any of my products. Thank you so much for watching and I'm so sorry this is up so late. I actually filmed this previously like two or three times because I had my numbers updated and then I got a package like the next week so I just figured to do an updated one where I'm not expecting anything. So I'm very appreciative of all you guys. Thank you again for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.